Okay, so, back on our normal schedule of a video every week, which may not last very long because we have exams coming up. <sighs> Sorry, I just need to get that out. But today, it's still a Christmas holiday, thank God, although that's coming to a quick end, and everyone says, oh, Christmas break lasts forever. No, it doesn't, okay? It's short, okay? It needs to be longer. Anyways. Two weeks is not enough. It's just not enough. Today, I have a kit in here. It's like, she's laid out like she could be assembled, but she's not assembled. Her body's over there somewhere. But I have a kit that I got for Christmas, and originally I was going to make it and sell it. But when she got here, she ended up being so cute that I might have to keep her. I know that's not a good business strategy, but she's just so cute. So... We're going to, maybe I'll take the camera out, get some better angles. Here's a leg. Pretty big leg, not a huge leg. And this kit has all separated toes, which I really like. I'm not going to like to paint them, because... Painting, for me, painting separated fingers and toes is a lot harder than painting fingers and toes that are stuck together, but it's cool that they're actually all separated. Nice big chunky legs. We got a hand with some nice fingernails, lots of creases in the palm of the hand. I like it when the kits have the dimples, like where the f at the top of the finger on the back of the hand. I like that. Some nice pudgy rolls on the wrist. Full arm, full legs. Boop. Another arm. Okay, and now for the best part, the head. And whoop. Oh, <laughs> she's face down. There she is. She's just really cute. I don't know why, but from her prototype pictures, I didn't think she'd be this cute, but now that she's here in person, she's just really, really freaking cute. Like, she has a bit of a pouty face. Great big eyes. I like her ears. Her ears are nice. Pouty lips. So she is a 22 inch baby, so not newborn, getting up there in size, but she's shockingly smaller than the Evelyn kit, which is 23 inches. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, one inch makes a huge difference when it comes to the reborns. So she is the... Uh, Claire kit by Ann Timmer is it Ann Timmerman? I think that's it. Claire by Ann Timmerman and I think I might have to keep her based on how she turns out, but I don't really have any complaints about the kit. It seems to be a very good kit. It, she is going to need some neutralizing because she's a little peachy. And the one thing about this kit, though, is it is very thick vinyl in the head, so, like, it will be very hard to root this kit. So I don't think I'm going to end up rooting her. She's either going to be bald or have painted hair, because that is just so thick. Like, heating the vinyl would help, but it's a pain to do that, because you have to keep stopping and heating it and stopping and heating it. 
so yeah, pretty sure this is gonna be painted hair because knock knock, anyone home? Well, anyways, just a short video today. I'm going to include some pictures that I took of her assembled with her eyes in. I'm going to have to do some carving in her eye sockets to fit the eyes in properly. Because she has really thick walls of vinyl around her eye sockets. And I'm going to have to cut it all out to make the eyes I got for her fit properly. I know, like I could just get other eyes that would fit better, but I like the eyes that I got for her. So I'm going to try my best to make them fit. Alright, anyways, that's all for today. Please like and subscribe, share this video with your friends, go check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for pictures and more information about the babies that I have and the babies that are going to be for sale. And I hope you enjoyed your Christmas break because, Mommy, it's over! I hope you get that reference if you don't. Never mind. But keep living the Frogling's life. God, that's creepy.